Howdy internet, I'm Mutant Toucan, and today we will be playing Zoo Tycoon, a game which I've played a lot as a child. Not very successfully, but a lot. And, and I know that a lot of people my age have probably played this game to death. It was very popular when I was a child. So the first thing, this is the scenario, the first scenario. It's really easy. You start off with three exhibits, which are labelled, and you just have to put one of each animal in it, which is kind of... I guess it's aimed at children. This is his first level, it's a tutorial. Now you actually get to the fun bit, where you get to actually build stuff. So you're given multiple animals, a budget of 70,000. It's pretty hard to fail this, to be honest. So I'm going to build a lion enclosure first, I think. Because lions are pretty... They're not actually that expensive to keep, from my experience. In this game, not in real life. God, no. So I'll put a pair down, because they like having friends for some reason. And then they like most of the exhibit to be savannah grass. About that much I think. Yeah, that much is fine. Need a little bit of fresh water. Which not every animal needs. Like the giraffe doesn't need fresh water. They they don't get to drink in our zoo. Dirt? Yeah, they need dirt. This is far more in depth than Zoo Tycoon 2 is. Zoo Tycoon 2, you just get a brush and just paint the whole exhibit and it's free. And I don't even know why they bothered with it. <laughs> It's completely pointless because it's so easy. I guess that one's just aimed at children more. Um, cheapest shelter, small concrete shelter. These lions will probably end up having babies, actually. Lions tend to be prone to thousands of mini lions, so I'll get a bigger shelter. I don't know why every animal needs rocks to keep it happy, but there you go, lions have some rocks? How many rocks do you need? Jesus Christ. Apparently they want more plants. Oh, too many plants. No, we can't have too many plants, lions. Christ. Get them a lion rock. That'll keep them happy. That rock's fine. They can have that rock. I know too many of the other rocks. Christ. I don't bother naming my exhibits. It takes far too long to think of clever names. I guess I could just name it Lion. But that'd be lame. I always forget to add these paths in until I've built my exhibits so the guests can't actually get to them and then I don't make enough money and it's sad. What other animals should we do? Uh, polar bears, I don't know, they, they need snow, and snow is quite expensive terrain to buy. Uh, let's go kangaroos. Kangaroos are fun. So again, I'm going to use the concrete exhibit fence to most of it, because a lot of animals need privacy for some reason in the zoo with everyone staring at them. So it's just an easy way of sorting that. Plonk down a couple of kangaroos in the field of grass and sadness. Okay. They need... They like a lot of dirt. For some reason, kangaroos. I don't know if Australia is particularly dirty. I have never been, because there are far too many spiders. 
Kangaroos are vicious little things as well. I wouldn't want to meet up with a kangaroo. I'm glad I have my zookeepers to do that for me. Too much sand. Uh, put a shelter in. Ugliest shelter. They can live with it. Now these are from Australia, so we don't want plants from Africa. Red gum trees, sure. Too many trees. There we go. Rocks, because every animal needs rocks. And that's kangaroos done. So now we only need one more exhibit, and the scenario is basically finished, apart from the really boring wait for the time to go six months which I will be fast forwarding because that is really quite tedious. Uh, let's put, put a tiger. I like tigers. Alright, what do you need? You will want a bit of fresh water because tigers like to swim unlike every other cat. Rainforest. I don't know how you're importing actual rainforest floor into your zoo. And most most animals in zoos you find are just on concrete or something. Oh, sorry. Dirt. No, too much dirt. Uh, so they're from Southeast Asia, so these are fine. Just put a big clump in the middle. I don't, why did you not like that one, but you like the one after it? Jesus. There's only one of you, so you can have that shelter and you can enjoy it. Rocks. Every animal needs their enrichment rocks. Apparently there's not enough grass now. There you go. Be happy, tiger. That is literally all you have to do for this, for this mission. Mission scenario, whatever you want to call it. So, you can complete this one really quickly, but the annoying thing with Zoo Tycoon is it forces you to wait for your time limit. So this one's a six month mission. You completed it in a month and a bit, and uh, now we had to wait for the four and a bit remaining months to tick by, just so that we can get the completion tick. And you still have £25,000. You can probably add some more stuff, which I might do in the background. But I'm probably just going to fast forward this because it is boring as hell. <laughs> One thing I forgot to add is how important compost buildings become later on in the campaigns as they get harder. So I do suggest putting one down every single time you make a zoo or anything. It's, it's just gonna make you a steady profit. I also forgot just how ugly leopard exhibits were and how bloody annoying leopards are because they are never happy. Like, ever. So I might end up having to sell this leopard. Because he's just getting depressed for no reason. Despite the exhibit's fine. The only thing he doesn't have is an enrichment object. No other animal gets this bitchy when you don't have an enrichment object. But leopards... Jesus Christ. Right, you go away. Good. Good riddance.
you done it. That's that's all. But it pops up with, you did it. Well done. You actually sat through all that time waiting for the game to finish. So that was the first scenario. I guess we will go on to the second one in the next video. I will see you all then.